Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a new smartphone video and this one is from Samsung. As you might have already known, Samsung has just launched their brand new A-series phone, the Galaxy A32 and the phone is already in the house and today in this video we'll be unboxing it and I'll be giving you guys a first look and my impressions on this phone. See, the Galaxy A32 is Samsung's first A-series phone to actually feature a 90Hz Super AMOLED display. So that is something I'm really looking forward to check out and along with that, the phone comes with a 64 megapixel quad camera setup. It's got a 5000 milliampere battery and some of the features which we'll be talking about in this video. So guys, without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. So along with the phone packaging over here, Samsung has also given us something called as awesome checklist that tells you about the special highlights like the display, camera, battery and all that stuff. So that's it. There is nothing much written on it. So the phone comes in a usual packaging guys, like most of the other Samsung A-series phones. It comes in this white packaging has the Galaxy A32 branding at the top, a picture of the phone on the front and if you go to the back side it uh, mentions some of its highlights. Now I've already told you that right so I don't want to waste any more time. By the way this is the 6 plus 128 GB variant and the phone is actually available in like four different colors. The one we have right now is called as awesome black so it's so it's basically the black color variant guys. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And if you ask about the pricing details, you might have already known, right? The price of this phone will be priced somewhere around like 21,999 rupees. So yeah, let's get started with the unboxing. Let me just tear the seal on the package. And we are done. As usual, do not forget this accessory box at the top. I hope there is a case this time at least. Let's open it and see. <laughs> okay, there, there is no case in the package. You just have some usual paperwork and a SIM ejection tool over here. That's it and here you go. We've got our brand new Galaxy A32 at the top in awesome black and wow. Pretty nice. We'll just get back to the phone in a moment. Along with that guys, you get a charging adapter. This is a 15 watt fast charger. This is what Samsung is offering you with the phone. And along with that, you get a type C cable for charging and data transfer. So that's it. These are all the stuff in the package. Now let me give you all a closer look at the phone and then we'll talk about the design and the build quality. So here you go. This is our brand new Galaxy A32 from Samsung. We've got the awesome black finish. And let me tell you, from my first look, I have to tell that the phone looks quite premium and stylish for the price point. See, what I'll do is first, I'll give you a physical overview on the phone and show you what do we have on all the sides. And then we'll talk about the features, specs and all that stuff. Going to the front side over here, as you can see, the phone comes with a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED Full HD Plus display. And the thing that makes it special is it's got a 9 60Hz refresh rate unlike the usual 60Hz panel so that is something I'm really looking forward to test out and along with that if you go to the top side guys it's got an infinity U type notch and comes with a 20 megapixel selfie camera and above that you also have a tiny earpiece also very nicely hidden so that's it on the front side uh, we'll be talking about the bezels and all that once we power on the phone and see. And if you go to the sides, looks like the frame is made of metal for that premium finish. And over here you've got two buttons. This is a power button and you've got a volume rocker about that. The quality of the buttons also pretty good. And that's it, going to the top side, you've got a secondary noise cancellation microphone. And going to the left side, you've got a SIM card tray. This must be a traditional SIM card tray only. And yes, it supports micro SD, so you can easily expand the storage up to one TB as shared by Samsung. And here you go, this is how the bottom side of the phone looks like. Over here, you've got a 3.5 mm headphone jack. Yes, that is there. And a primary microphone, a type C port for charging and a single down firing speaker. And this is how the phone's backside looks like. Wow, let me just peel off the sticker so you'll get a better look at the, you know, pa back panel. Looks like the phone's back panel is made of glass this time. Yeah, it is definitely glass. Uh, Samsung is saying that they're using Gorilla Glass 5 both on the front and the back. So that is very nice. Built quality looks pretty good. The brand is calling it as awesome black, but for me, the phone looks sort of like gray finish, guys. So that is what I'm seeing. I don't know how the phone is visible for you people in the video. You've got the Samsung logo over here. And going to the top side, we've got a brand new quad camera setup. I have to tell you, I kind of like this new design without any borders makes it look much more premium and stylish. So let me just tell you about the cameras. We've got a 64 megapixel primary camera. There's an eight megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a five megapixel macro, and one more five megapixel for depth sensing. And lastly, you do have a tiny LED flash as well. 
So that's it guys, that was our complete physical overview of this phone. If you talk about the thickness, the phone comes with a 5000mAh battery, yet it's only around like 8.4mm thick. And also if you talk about the weight, it's not that heavy also, quite lightweight actually, weighs only around like 184 grams. So that's it guys, what I'll do is I'll just quickly power it on, set up the phone and then we'll continue the video. Alright people, I'm back to continue the video. The phone is all set up and good to go. I've also set up the fingerprint reader on it. The Galaxy A32 comes with an on-screen fingerprint scanner. So let's quickly put that to a test and you know, we'll check it out how quickly it unlocks the phone. Okay. So the on-screen fingerprint reader is definitely doing a good job, but it's not that fast as I was expecting it to be. Anyways, this is how the home screen on the phone looks like. The phone comes with Android 11 version out of the box and runs uh, Samsung's newest One UI 3.1 will be coming there in a moment. And by the way, I have to tell you, the phone comes with very thin bezels. If you can observe, it's got thin bezels on the sides and the top, but has slightly a bit thicker bezel on the bottom side. And at the top side, you've got the infinity U kind of notch with the front camera sitting in between there. I have to tell you from my first impressions, the display on this phone is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I mean, just look at that. Super AMOLED definitely is one of the best displays Samsung makes. And on top of that, it's 90 hertz, right? You can definitely feel the smoothness. By the way, I forgot to mention the phone is powered by MediaTek's Helio G80 CPU. We'll be talking about the performance in a moment. And yeah, first let's quickly just head over to the settings and just check out the software info. I've just told you, right, the phone runs Android version 11 out of the box and One UI version is 3.1. And if you ask about the storage, well, this is the 128 GB variant. And out of the box, let me just show you, you have around like 104 GB of usable space. I haven't installed any apps yet. So yeah, if you feel that is not enough, uh, you can even install micro SD cards. That option is also there. You can expand it up to one TB of storage. So first I have to tell you about the performance, guys. The phone definitely has noticeable difference in the smoothness thanks to that 90 hertz panel. But see, 80% of the time I feel it's smooth, but sometimes I can observe micro stutter, especially in the launcher, you know, when I'm opening up the launcher. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can make it out in the video, but sometimes when you're opening the launcher, there are like micro stutters happening. Again, this is not happening most of the time. And also if you go to the left, you've got Samsung's free or Google now, you can choose any one of them. And here you go, this is how the new One UI looks like. Transparent design, pretty nice. So yeah, apart from that, now opening apps or closing apps, everything feels like butter on this phone. Keeping that aside, let's also quickly uh, open up camera app and check it out. Let me just quickly shoot some pictures. Okay, that is pretty fast. I've told you right, it's got a 64 megapixel primary camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle, and there's a 5 megapixel macro camera. And from my initial impressions, camera quality does look pretty nice. Again, this is something that I'll have to test it out, right? I have to shoot some picture samples in different scenarios and different scenes, and then I'll be able to tell you that in my full review video. See, most of the specs look pretty awesome. For example, this 90 hertz Super AMOLED panel is a kick-ass display. You've got 5,000 milliampere battery, 64 megapixel quad camera setup. Everything looks pretty nice. Only thing is, uh, the processor on this phone is MediaTek's Helio G80. Samsung says that this phone is specially targeted for offline market and, you know, for the older generation people, like for your uncles, aunties, or maybe grandparents. For them, this might be okay. But if you talk about youngsters or people who do a lot of online shopping, right at a competitive price this may not be not you know it's not made for them because you can't do like excellent gaming on this phone so that thing you'll have to keep in mind apart from that if you talk about like day-to-day -day normal kind of usage then it's okay like it can get your job done that is what I can say. I wish only if Samsung could have given like a better processor for the price this would have been the best phone 
you know, in the market around this price range. Keeping that aside, see guys, I'll have to use this phone for a couple of days, right? Then only I'll be able to give my complete review on this phone. So in the full review video, guys, I'll be making that in a couple of days. There we'll be talking about the display quality in depth. We'll be talking about the camera quality. And also let me know if you want to see a gaming performance video, like uh, how does the CPU perform? I'll do that also in that video. And lastly, we'll talk about the battery life as well. So before I wrap up the video, let me just quickly play some video on YouTube and show you how the display on it looks like. You'll also get to know about the sound quality of the speaker as well. A lot of laptops can do this, but can your laptop do this? Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have something very interesting and fun laptop to show you all guys. So this is a new one from Lenovo. It's their all new Yoga 7i Intel 11th Gen 2-in-1 convertible laptop. Initial impressions, the display on this phone is absolute killer guys. Great amount of detail. The colors look on point, rich and vibrant thanks to that Super AMOLED panel. And also everything feels fluidic and smooth thanks to 90Hz refresh rate. We'll talk about in depth about the display in my full review video. And if you talk about the sound, it, I've told you right. It's got a single down firing speaker on the bottom side and the sound quality was also pretty good and also output was also decent and loud. Pretty satisfactory I felt. So that's pretty much it guys. I want to wrap up the video. Don't want to go in depth anymore right now. If you all enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And also if you have any other questions that you would like to ask about this phone, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to cover them in my full review video. So that's it and I'll see you all in my next one.